People are frustrated, and they have a right to be. Occupy Wall Street and the Tea Party agree on one thing. They see a Washington government they don't feel is being responsive to their wants and needs. Gridlock is preventing even the most non-controversial responsibility of government from being accomplished. At the same time, people have lost trillions in wealth, which they thought they had. Wages are stagnant. Jobs are returning at a snail's pace. There are concerns about health care costs and quality that continue to dominate their lives. Washington seems to be giving all the breaks to the bad actors and, oh yes, we're starting to see dramatic shifts in the climate of our planet. Global warming is a real concern, not a political ploy. This sad display of dysfunction obscures the good news. The fact is, fixing our problems, moving to a sustainable path, even saving the world, doesn't have to be this hard. It's entirely within our power both citizens and government to reverse these trends, not overnight obviously, but to embark on this path with a 10-year demonstrable program on new and better ways to do our business while getting debt and budgets under control. Each week for the next 40 weeks, I'll be highlighting an idea to change how we're doing business. Some of the ideas will be simple and straightforward, others may seem a little wonky, but all are important. They are the ideas that have accumulated from my 40 years of public service, which would make government and business more fair, our environment cleaner, and our communities safer, healthier, and more economically secure. America is already paying for more than most Americans are receiving. It's time to do something about it. This is our decade of decisions.